when most of these buildings, they started building most of these buildings around here. In 1907, uh, there was a girl, 15-year-old girl from Rochester, New York, walking down the street in midtown Manhattan. The photographer comes up to her, says, can I take your picture? She said, okay. Doesn't become viral, of course, it's 1907, but in 1911, she starts appearing in photo shoots for magazines, for newspapers. She becomes a successful model in New York. Her name was Audrey Munson. 1915, she's the first woman in North America to appear in a silent movie. She's in four silent movies between 1915 and 1922. 1919, uh, she finishes the third movie and she goes on vacation in, in Toronto. While she's up in Canada, the guy who owned the boarding house where she was living in Midtown murders his wife because he figures he could be with this girl. Maybe they were having an affair, I don't know, but he kills his wife. and. Uh, he gets arrested immediately, he gets the death penalty, he commits suicide in prison right before they actually give him the death penalty. She comes back to the States, she finishes her last movie, but then she is blackballed from the movie industry. She can't be in movies, she can't be in modeling, because everybody thinks she's part of this cons conspiracy. And so she becomes very, very despondent, very sad, and she takes poison in 1922 and she, she tries to commit suicide, but she's unsuccessful. Slowly goes crazy throughout the 1920s. 1931, she's committed to a mental institution and she lives the next 65 years until 1996, when she dies at 104 years old, locked up in a mental institution in Ogdensburg, New York, on the Canadian border. That is a horrible story. And that is one of the crown jewels of New York. Budapest or Paris or London, you notice, and I'm sure in Sydney, I've never been to Sydney, I'm sure there's no, no locks on the bridge in Sydney, uh, I don't know. So the, the whole bridge was covered with locks, literally. And then the police started cutting the locks because a part of a bridge in Paris collapsed. So when the bridge in Paris collapsed, they started cutting the locks here, and then there was a competition between the people and the police. Every time the police would cut the locks, people would put more locks on the bridge. And then people started putting earbuds on the bridge. There is a subway right there. This is the first subway ever built into a hotel in New York City. That's the Clark Street Station of the two or the three train, and that will take you 
to Prospect Park in the Brooklyn Museum. One way and the other way will take you to Times Square. So if you want to get to Times Square, you go right in there and you can get the two or the three. It also is more better than that. It was the first hotel in New York that had a giant saltwater pool. So when I was a kid, I lived in Lower Manhattan, and my father would take my brother and I on the subway in the middle of the winter, and we'd get off inside the hotel, and just walk to the pool and go swimming. So it was very, very good. Almost everybody here is no older than four generations in New York. It's very, very diverse. And today I'll give you an example of it to show you how diverse New York is. New York is the biggest Chinese city in the world outside of Asia. but slaves could escape to New York, but bounty hunters, these were paid mercenaries, could come up to Tuesday, 
From what I know, they have only a limited number of free tickets, so chances are I'm not gonna get inside today. Just have to remember next Tuesday to come here like two hours before four, five, yeah. Two, come at two. two.